Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Got a 2004 GMC Sierra 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel. Going to do a quick video on how to replace all eight glow plugs. I did do a uh, video on a 2003 Duramax a few years ago, replacing all eight glow plugs. Uh, so if you're interested, check that one out. But I figure I'd just do another one to see uh, what the difference is in between the years here. I'm first going to go ahead and uh, pop my hood there. So with your hood popped here, as you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff in the way. Um, I think it's going to be pretty hard to do this from up above. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and start on the driver's side here. We're going to have to uh, take off the inner fender well. All right, so here on the driver's side, we're going to have to remove this inner fender well. Um, you got a bunch of push-in clips here, and then you also got this style as well. And uh, this truck must have had this off before, which I did just have this off because I replaced the washer fluid reservoir. So if you guys are interested, check that video out. Uh, but I put it on just for the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off again. And you got some more over here. And then as you can see, this is uh, this truck was actually missing quite a few. And then you see all these holes up in here. Uh, those are for some of the wiring harnesses from up above in the engine there. Uh, those were unplugged as well. So you may have a few you need to uh, pull out from here as well. Let's go ahead and get all these uh, clips off of here. So if you guys got one of these trim tools, they work uh, very well. And then just go ahead and start pulling some of these out of here. And then for uh, this style here, what you wanna do is get up underneath the uh, circle part here first. And then go ahead and pull that. That pulls that out. And then you can remove the uh, second piece here. So just go around and get all these out real quick. Once you get all those out, just go ahead and pull down on it. And this should just pop right out of here. So taking a look in here, as you can see, this is what I was talking about that were some of these harnesses that are plugged into the um, inner fender well there you got one right here but like I said these were all undone so somebody's been in here before uh, there's another one up here as well so we'll try and put those back on uh, once we are done in here and uh, as you can see so our glow, pl glow plugs we got one right there you can see the nut right there and then uh, there's another one back there and a couple other here one right here and then it looks like there's one right behind this pipe here so let's go ahead and uh, start taking those off all right guys so i'm going to try to get my camera in as best as i can um so the difference i'm seeing between the 03 and this 04 that i did was um you can see the two glow plugs there one there one there it had a bridge that went to all four glow plugs. Uh, but as you can see on this one, it does not. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, start pulling those. So go ahead and grab a eight millimeter. Go ahead and take that nut off first. And then disconnect your wire here. Just like that. Then go ahead and grab yourself a 12 millimeter. We'll plug out of here. Once you get it broken free, you should be able to just spin it out by hand here. All 
right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our new plugs here. Uh, just went with the AC Delco 63G. Uh, got these off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for them. Um, since this is an 04, you guys need to make sure you buy the correct ones because uh, 04, I believe, is when they made the switch to the LLY, which is what this motor is. Um, some of the 04s would be the LV7s. And the way to tell is go ahead and take a look at your, uh, it's the eighth number that's in your VIN. So if it's going to be a 1, then you got the LB7, which will take the 62G glow plug. And if you have the number 2 as the eighth number in the VIN, it's going to be this one here, the 63G. So you want to make sure you buy the correct uh, glow plugs. But I'll put a link in the description for uh, actually both. So if you have the LB7 or the uh, LLY. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So you can see it's going to be our new glow plug. And you can actually see on there it says LLY. And uh, I'm not really sure if the LB7s uh, say LB7 on them or not. But... Uh, it's best just to go with the original OEM plugs. And let's go ahead and take this nut off here. And uh, let's go ahead and stick it in the truck here. And then before you go ahead and stick it in the truck too, um, I like to just take a little anesthes here and then we'll uh, just coat the threads here with some. Just makes it a lot easier for the uh, next person that's going to be removing these. So let's go ahead and get this glow plug in here. Like I said, I'm trying to get you guys the best camera angle here. that screwed in and we'll tighten it we'll get it snug and if you guys want to use a torque wrench you can these are going to be uh, torqued to 13 foot pounds Once you get that tightened and torqued, go ahead and get your uh, wiring eyelid on here. Grab your new nut. tighten that down. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on to the next one here. All right, guys, so this next one is probably going to be the hardest one to get to because you got your steering shaft in the way. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get this off of here.
three. Get that pretty much out of there. You can see, you can see how it gets, hits on the steering shaft here, and it won't come out. So what I did on my last video was I was able to push down just enough on this shaft. Get this wire out of the way here. So if you you push down on it, you should be able to slide this out. Just like that. And then same thing on your new one. Let's get it up in there. And then go ahead and pull out her up. Just like that. And then last one for this side. Let's see if I can go underneath the inner cooler pipe here. I'm going to go ahead and get the fender well put back in here. And then, like I said before, I'm going to try to get some of these uh, hooked back in here. But I may have to just do it at the end here. So let's go ahead and get some of these clips in here real quick. All right, so now let's move on to the passenger side here. So pretty much same thing as the drivers. Uh, as you can see, he's missing quite a few on this side as well. So let's get all these out. And then as you can see, there's one of those clips I'm talking about. So if you go up top here, you should be able to pull out whatever one that is. Actually, it looks like and it looks like we don't need to pull that one out because you can see right here just that little wire goes inside of it so we'll just leave it like it is and then of course go ahead and remove this one As you can see, kind of the same thing. Got one there, there, and then the uh, other two are kind of hidden behind the uh, intercooler pipe there. So again, we'll start at the uh, rear here. So grab your eight millimeter. Yeah, let's pull this one off here. Take the wire off there. You can see there's quite a bit of oil on these, so I'm going to have to clean up that wire there.
I mean, I got some, uh, just some contact cleaner here. I'm gonna spray this down real quick. And wipe it off here. Just to make sure that has a good connection. All right guys, so the other two are behind this intercooler pipe here. So I'm gonna go up top and uh, loosen this and see if we can maybe drop it down a little bit here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab a 7 16 and we'll pull this off right here and see if we can pull down on it. Go ahead and loosen that up. And then I'll go down below and let's see if we can just pull that off. that so as you can see down here we can move this out of the way if we need to and that gives us plenty of room to get to those all right so moving on here so my lighting and camera's not too good right here but there's our next one Now let's go ahead and connect our intercooler pipe again. Go ahead and tighten that up with your 7 16 Then go ahead and get your wheel well put back in. All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, start it. Make sure it fires up. As you can see, fired right up, no issues. So we should be good. All right, so that's gonna do it for the video. Again, this was a 2004 GMC Sierra, 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel. Went ahead and replaced all eight glow plugs. Um, like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, I did this to a 2003 Duramax and recorded it. Uh, so if you're interested, check that video out. That was a few years ago. And uh, not too much of a difference. Uh, the only difference I saw was there was no bridge in between the glow plugs like the 2003 had. So hopefully this video helps you out. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.